What's up, man? It's your boy Mo Kicks the Bruce Lee back again for another banger. Yeah, ho! Check this out. Hey, this time we're here for the sneaker of the year. The Air Jordan uh, 1 Chicago Lost and Found. Like Jump Man, he jumping out of space. He checking from the box to the case. Now I'm laced. Now I'm laced. Got Mo Kicks and Bruce Lee. Drill like water, Bruce Lee. I and we finna get straight into the review because I'm super excited about these. I know y'all ready to see them and there's a lot to unpack here. So first you see the box. The box is pre-aged and vintage. It's a shout out to the old mom and pop sneaker shops. This is a shoe that if you would have been able to go back in that day, you would have been able to go in the basement and buy this particular shoe and it would have probably looked something like this. So this is a pretty cool thing and this adds to the whole sne sneaker of the year conversation. So first of all, what you're going to see is the paper has a lot of old Air Jordan 180s uh, ads on it. So further, you know, adding to the packaging and the details y'all know i'm a sucker for good packaging and details also on the box you have what you would have had is an old sales sticker you know because what they what they say these shoes used to do these shoes came out in 84 and then in 86 a year later they went on sale but they would be just in the bottom collecting dust and then certain certain like you see fat joe fat joe got a video where he's talking about how he used to go in set a lot of money on the counter and then you just go look in their basement and just find old good stuff and this is how you what you would have found so you open that back up <laughs> so excited to have these so first of all another detail I like is they got an old 86 invoice or receipt and it looks like it what would it what it would have looked like you see it has the paid sticker sign right here $14.99 was what these went on sale for back in the 80s, which is crazy to think about today. So let's get straight into the shoe. And this is a beautiful sneaker. I, every now and then, Nike and Jordan brand get it right. They have like a perfect, perfect release. And I think this is one of them. Uh, let's get straight into the sneaker. So coming up, you have all across the shoe. It's just a pre-vintage feel to it. I really like it. I see a lot of people say they don't like the amount of distressing that is on the collar. I like it because again, this is exactly how this shoe would have looked had it sat in a box for 30 years and you just pulled it out dead stock. So I think this is a nod back to the old 80s leather where they used to live. I think they used to use real leather. And so this is a nod to it. This is a nice, durable, real smooth leather. I like that. And it feels like, you know, these are going to age just as well as the old ones. Um, on the side panels in the toe box, the white part, you have this leather cracking again, resembling how it would look if it's set in a box for like 30 years. Um, it comes with two laces and the laces are laced like they used to be in the 80s. You have a white pair, a black pair. I think I'm going to rock the black pair because it just gives that old classic 80s look. And it's closer to what Mike used to wear when he used to rock them the black uh, laces. And overall, they executed this shoe dope. The bottom, the sole part is pre-aged too, just like if it was set in a box. So I love that aspect of it. I, I don't think they could have done anything, you know, better. I do think, you know, if you guys remember the 80s, they used to have the old triangle hang tag. They had the picture of Jordan doing the logo dunk on it. I wonder if, you know, when they used to sit in the basement, they took those tags off because they don't have it here. That would be my only you know only thing i say about the shoe that they could have added everything else this shoe is perfect the tongue is even you know pre-vintage it's like a cream color and i think overall just the sale hits to this shoe really makes it look very very vintage and very very cool so we're gonna get some more b shots b-roll shots of the sneaker
So this shoe is slated to drop November the 19th, 2022 at a retail price of 180. It is rumored to be 500,000 pairs. So they say, I did talk to Mr. Unloved One. Shout out to you, bro. Appreciate you for answering back or whatever. He's a real cool dude, but he told me that that was a correct, you know, uh, stock number. But what you guys got to think about is this shoe has been heavily backdoored. If you've been following the, you know, the craziness and the hype about this sneaker, you've been seeing pictures being posted, you know, of people with, you know, cases and cases. Matter of fact, my pair is a backdoor pair. So everybody's trying to get this shoe. You got to think about the Concords. You got to think about the breads, the cool grays, the million pairs of cool grays, and they still sold out. So 500,000 stock women toddlers uh gs sizes all of those combined in there and a million people want them it's not gonna be an easy shoe to get but it's not gonna be a hard shoe so you're just gonna have to use all your resources call your people that you know they may be able to get their hands on pairs or if you know any managers at stores make sure you start doing their work now then on release day also have everybody you know your wife your husband entering in for you so you got multiple ways of kind of getting you a pair securing you a pair because this is the talk right now of releases everybody's waiting on it people are saying they're getting tired of seeing them so much so if you want this shoe you're gonna have to do some work for it but anybody who really really wants it and does the work for it should be able to get also um this also because it's so much stock you would also can expect some restocks too so i wouldn't say you know you totally just don't have a chance but like i said you're just gonna have to do some work to get them i appreciate all the support y'all may have realized we just reached 500 subscribers so hey we getting up there man i appreciate y'all also shout out to the new york times they did an article on yeezy and the state of yeezy and people and what they're doing with their pairs and i did a tweet one day talking about how i wasn't gonna sell my yeezys and I got an interview and I'm actually in the New York Times. So if you haven't seen it, you can Google uh, New York Times Yeezy. Um, we'll put it up on the screen, the name of the article, but I was able to get into the article. So appreciate that. Hey, thank y'all for stopping for another yet, yet another episode. Follow me on IG at Mo Kixley Bruce Lee. Follow me at Twitter on Mo Kixley Bruce Lee. Hey, we coming with some more heat, man. Appreciate y'all. The road to 100. The uh, uh, well, road to the hundred thousand it came, but a road to uh, a thousand has come. Appreciate y'all. That's uh, up next. Uh, hey, be like water. Like jumping out of space. He checking from the box to the case. No lace. No lace. Got more kissing Bruce Lee. Drill like water Bruce Lee. I got more kissing Bruce Lee. Like water bros, yeah. I'm 